With so many types of intermittent fasting out there, how do you know which one is the best for you? It can be overwhelming to sift through all the information and decide which fasting method aligns with your lifestyle and health goals. Intermittent fasting has become increasingly popular for its potential health benefits. From weight loss to improved metabolic health, many people are turning to this eating pattern to enhance their well-being. But with so many different methods, it can be tough to know where to begin. Should you try the 16 8 method where you fast for 16 hours and eat during an 8-hour window? Or maybe the 5. 2 diet, where you eat normally for 5 days and restrict calories for 2? Don't worry, we've got you covered. We're here to help you navigate through the most popular intermittent fasting methods and find the one that suits you best. In this essay, we'll break down the most popular intermittent fasting methods. We'll look at the 16 8 method, the 5, 2 diet, alternate day fasting, and the eat-stop-eat approach. We'll explore their benefits and challenges. For instance, the 16 8 method is great for those who prefer a daily routine, while the 5-2 diet might be better for those who can handle more flexibility. By the end, you'll be equipped to choose the best method for your lifestyle and goals. Whether you're looking to lose weight, improve your metabolic health, or simply feel better overall, there's an intermittent fasting method out there for you. Let's dive in and find your perfect fasting fit. Intermittent fasting isn't about what you eat, but when you eat. This approach to eating has gained significant popularity in recent years, and for good reason. It offers a flexible way to manage your diet without the need to count calories or restrict specific food groups. It's a pattern of eating that cycles between periods of eating and voluntary fasting. These cycles can vary greatly with some people choosing to fast for 16 hours and eat during an 8-hour window, while others might opt for a 24-hour fast once or twice a week. The flexibility allows individuals to tailor the fasting schedule to their lifestyle and preferences. Unlike traditional diets, it doesn't restrict food groups. You can still enjoy a variety of foods including your favorite treats, as long as you consume them within your designated eating window. This can make intermittent fasting a more sustainable and enjoyable approach to healthy eating. Instead, it focuses on time-restricted feeding. This means you have specific hours during the day when you can eat, and outside of those hours, you fast. This method can help regulate your body's internal clock and improve your overall metabolic health. The potential benefits of intermittent fasting are numerous. Many people report significant weight loss, which can be attributed to the reduced eating window and the body's increased ability to burn fat during fasting periods. Additionally, intermittent fasting can help improve mental clarity and focus, making it easier to stay productive throughout the day. These can include weight loss, improved insulin sensitivity, reduced inflammation, and even cellular repair. Improved insulin sensitivity can help manage and prevent type 2 diabetes, while reduced inflammation can lower the risk of chronic diseases. Cellular repair processes, such as autophagy, are also enhanced during fasting, promoting overall health and longevity. However, it's essential to approach fasting safely and choose a method that aligns with your individual needs and preferences. Consulting with a healthcare professional or nutritionist can provide personalized guidance and ensure that intermittent fasting is a safe and effective option for you. Keeping a journal of your fasting experience can also help you track your progress and make any necessary adjustments. Let's dive into some of the most popular intermittent fasting methods and explore how they can fit into your lifestyle. Intermittent fasting has gained immense popularity due to its potential health benefits including weight loss, improved metabolic health, and even longevity. But with so many methods out there, it can be challenging to choose the right one for you. 16. 8. Method. This involves fasting for 16 hours and having an 8-hour eating window. Typically, people skip breakfast and eat from noon to 8 p.m. This method is popular because it's relatively easy to follow and fits well with most people's daily routines. During the fasting period, you can drink water, coffee, or tea, but no caloric intake is allowed. The 16 8 method is known to help with weight loss and improve blood sugar control. 5-2. Diet. You eat normally for 5 days a week and restrict calories to 500 to 600 on 2 non-consecutive days. On fasting days, it's crucial to focus on nutrient-dense, low-calorie foods to ensure you get essential vitamins and minerals. This method is flexible and can be adjusted to fit your schedule. Many people find it easier to stick to because it only requires calorie restriction twice a week, making it less daunting than daily fasting. Eat Stop Eat This method involves a 24-hour fast once or twice a week. For example, if you finish dinner at 7 p.m., you wouldn't eat again until 7 p.m. the next day. 
This method can be challenging for beginners, but it offers significant benefits, such as improved insulin sensitivity and cellular repair processes. It's essential to stay hydrated during the fasting period and listen to your body to avoid overexertion. Alternate Day Fasting You alternate between days of normal eating and days of fasting or very low calorie intake. On fasting days you typically consume about 500 calories. This method can be quite effective for weight loss and improving heart health. However, it requires a high level of commitment and may not be suitable for everyone, especially those with demanding schedules or high physical activity levels. OMAD, one meal a day. As the name suggests, you consume all your daily calories in a single meal. This method is extreme and may not be suitable for everyone, but it can lead to significant weight loss and metabolic benefits. The key is to ensure that the one meal is well-balanced and nutrient-dense to meet your daily nutritional needs. OMAD can be convenient for those with busy schedules, as it eliminates the need for multiple meal preparations. Each method has its own set of advantages and disadvantages. Understanding these will help you make an informed choice. It's important to consider your lifestyle, health goals, and any medical conditions before starting an intermittent fasting regimen. Consulting with a healthcare professional or a nutritionist can provide personalized guidance and ensure that you choose a method that is safe and effective for you. Remember, the best fasting method is the one that you can stick to consistently and that supports your overall well-being. The right intermittent fasting method for you depends on several factors. Consider your lifestyle, daily schedule, and health goals. If you're new to fasting, starting with a gentler method like the 16-8 might be best. This allows your body to gradually adapt. More experienced fasters could explore methods like alternate day fasting or OMAD. Always consult with your doctor or a registered dietitian before making significant dietary changes, especially if you have underlying health conditions. The 16-8 method is incredibly popular, especially for beginners. It's relatively easy to follow. You simply skip breakfast and have your first meal around noon. Your eating window then extends for 8 hours, ending around 8 p.m. This method can be easily integrated into most lifestyles. It's also flexible, allowing you to adjust your eating window based on your schedule. The 16-8 method can be a great starting point for those looking to explore the benefits of intermittent fasting. The 5-2 diet offers another approach to intermittent fasting. It emphasizes calorie restriction rather than daily time-restricted feeding. You eat normally for 5 days a week. On your two fasting days, you significantly reduce your calorie intake. This method provides flexibility as you can choose your fasting days. It can also be more socially adaptable. However, it's crucial to ensure you're getting adequate nutrition on your non-fasting days. Eat Stop Eat takes fasting a step further. This method involves a complete 24-hour fast once or twice a week. For example, you might stop eating after dinner on Monday and not eat again until dinner on Tuesday. This longer fasting period can be challenging. However, it can also be highly effective for weight loss and improving insulin sensitivity. If you choose this method, ensure you're properly hydrated and listen to your body's hunger cues. Alternate day fasting, a more intense approach. Alternate day fasting, as the name suggests, involves alternating between days of normal eating and fasting days. On fasting days, you significantly restrict your calorie intake or fast completely. This method is one of the more aggressive approaches. It's not suitable for everyone. It's essential to consult with your doctor before attempting alternate day fasting, especially if you have any health concerns. OMAD, one meal a day, the ultimate fasting challenge, OMAD takes intermittent fasting to its extreme. You consume all your daily calories in a single meal within a one-hour window. The rest of the day is spent fasting. This method requires significant discipline and may not be sustainable for everyone. It's crucial to ensure you're consuming a balanced and nutritious meal during your eating window. Always prioritize your health and consult with a healthcare professional before attempting OMAD. Listening to your body, the key to sustainable fasting. Regardless of the intermittent fasting method you choose, Listening to your body is crucial. Fasting should never feel like a punishment. If you experience any severe discomfort, dizziness, or other adverse effects, break your fast immediately and consult with your doctor. Remember, sustainable weight management and overall well-being are marathons, not sprints. Embark on your fasting journey. Intermittent fasting can be a powerful tool for improving your health and well-being. By understanding the different methods and their potential benefits and challenges, you can choose the best approach for your lifestyle. Remember to start slowly, listen to your body, and consult with your doctor before making significant dietary changes. Are you ready to embark on your fasting journey? Share your experiences and support each other in the comments below.